Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial today and today we'll be checking out our latest release that is Crayon which is an open source CRM software built on the most popular PHP frameworks that is Laravel and in today's video we'll be checking how to create leads in Crayon CRM itself so for that what the admin needs to do is he needs to navigate to the backend panel of the Crayon itself and enter his email address for the admin account and the password and tap on the login button thereafter now before we proceed further with the video tutorial there please do subscribe to our channel there and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up now after the admin has entered the email address and the password the admin just needs to tap on the login button to log into the admin backend panel there in the crane itself and uh, the very first thing that the admin will see is the dashboard itself as you can see right now now here to create the leads what the admin needs to do is he needs to navigate to the side panel and tap on the leads option here and that would bring up the complete listing of the different leads uh, uh, stages there so here we have different stages like the new follow-up prospect negotiation one and the lost now to create a new lead for a, a new one what you can do is you can tap here on the add lead button or you can go to the new one and tap on the add lead button now this would bring up this pop-up here this pop-up can also be brought up by tapping here on the add lead button now here we have three different sections for the add lead one is the details contact person and the products under the details what you need to do is under the details you have to enter uh, the uh, title the description the leads value select the source of the lead select the type of the lead uh, there where the lead has come from and lastly you have to choose the sales owner there under the contact person here you need to enter the details of the lead itself like the name of the lead his email address his contact number his organization and lastly under the products you can add the products that the lead is requiring there and you can enter the details of those uh, products here these fields here are autofill so you will have to have those products already created there within the system there so let's get ahead and let's uh, create a lead there so let's enter the title of the lead for example for now i'll set it as mobile app creation then i'll enter the description uh, for this particular lead the client requires a mobile app for his website then i'll go to the lead value and i'll enter the value of this particular lead there I'll select the source of this particular lead so I'll choose it as for example email I'll choose the type from the website I'll choose the sale owner to whom we are going to assign this particular lead to I'll choose it as BDE for the time being and then we'll come down to the contact person here uh, if the person is already there in your system there then the name of the the lead would automatically be populated there otherwise if it's the first time that uh, you're going uh, or this is a new lead that you're going to create then you can add that particular lead uh, there within the system from this section here so for example if i enter peter here you can see that it was uh, uh, showing no records found so for example if i go ahead and enter peter doe for peter doe we can see that uh, peter doe is already existing let me go for smith though for example so no records have been found with the same name we can add this particular lead name there now we need to enter the email address of the lead I'll enter the email we can choose it as a work one or a home one if there are multiple emails we can add them by tapping on the add more button we can remove them by tapping on the delete as well then we can add the contact number of the lead there so let me enter the contact number there you can choose whether it's the work one or the home one if there are more telephone numbers you can add them as well as required there then you have to enter the organization of the uh, particular lead that you're going to create then coming to the products here you have to enter the uh, name of the product that the lead is requiring so for example if I go with mirror uh, the system will check whether that product exists there or not I'll select the particular one I can change the quantity there I can add more as well as well more products for example if I enter 11 here I have 11 in screen there uh, if I want I can tap on the add more button to add more products or I can delete a one as required 
after setting these uh, things up you just need to tap here on the save lead button and uh, what that would do is that would save your particular lead itself and after the lead has been created you can see that the lead has been created and it has been added under the stage new here you can see that we have the mobile app creation and the name of the uh, lead is uh, Smiddo and the amount for the lead is $300 there. If you want, you can also tap here on the view button to view the details of uh, this particular lead there. So here you'll find the complete details of the lead with the details here, the title, the description, uh, the lead value, the source, the type, the sales owner, and uh, you can see the contact person name as well and the products that the, the particular lead is uh, trying to uh, purchase there so that's how uh, easily you can uh, create a lead in the Korean CRM from the admin backend panel and uh, I hope uh, that this particular thing helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same for the creation of the leads there if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com and uh, lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead